This problem is uh, circular accelerating motion. So the problem is as follows. I have a particle moving uh, on a circular path of radius r and its linear speed uh, on the circle which is a scalar is given by a times t squared where a is a constant greater than zero. Now the question has two parts. Uh, find part A, find the acceleration vector, that means find the radial and tangential components of the acceleration as a function of time of course. Uh, part B, find the angle theta between the acceleration vector and uh, r where r is the vector from particle to center of the circle. Now, too many words to state a simple thing. If this is your acceleration, uh, then this is the angle we're looking for uh, in simple terms. So, uh, part A, uh, we want the acceleration. Now, the radial component of the acceleration, when, where we define uh, positive as outwards, is minus uh, omega squared r or you can uh, also say it's v squared over r of course given omega is just v over r that's your angular speed which is also negative okay so here i have an expression for the speed so it makes sense to use the second form. Uh, so the radial acceleration is just minus a squared t to the power 4 over r as a function of time. Uh, the uh, tangential component of the acceleration is equal to just the tangential speed derivative with respect to time. Now the speed, since it's already moving in a circular path, the tangential speed is just its speed. So all I have to do is take the speed and do d by dt of a t squared, which is 2a t. So, uh, these two together give you the answer to part A. Now part B, the angle theta between, uh, well, this angle, okay. So essentially we have the radial component, it's in this direction and its magnitude, now if I draw it in this direction it's going to be positive, so it's a squared t to the power 4 over r and the tangential acceleration is over there and its size if I carry it over here is what? 2 a t. So uh, the simplest thing I, I can write theta is using, well I can see the tangent of theta is just the ratio of these two things right? Uh, so yeah, so tangent theta 
is just what? Uh, 280 over uh, what? A squared t to the power 4 over r, which comes out to what? 2, I can put the r on top, a cancels the square, t cancels, becomes t cube, so it's 2r over a t cube. Any mistakes? Correct, great. So tangent theta is just that. So you can write theta as arc tangent of 2r over a t cube. All right. Now, uh, do our answers make sense in terms of dimensions? Uh, now, both of these are supposed to have the same dimension. Over here, of course, uh, t is a time, r is a length. I don't know the dimension of a directly, so I need to figure it out from here. So over here on the left, I have a speed, which is length over time. Right, is whatever the dimension of a is times time squared. So the dimension of a is length over time cubed. So I can check this if the dimension of a is, let's check the dimension of this. This would be length squared over time to the power 6, then I have time to the power 4 here, and I have a length here. So length squared cancels, t to the power 4 cancels, I have squared, so it's length for time squared, which is an acceleration, makes sense. Over here I have, what's the dimension of that? I have a l over t cube times time. Turns out that cancels that. I have length over time squared, so I'm good. How about the tangent theta? So how do you dimension check arc tangent? Well, the thing is the argument of any transcendental function must be dimensionless. So this must have dimensions of one. Let's see if that holds. Uh, so you have length on top. On the bottom you have a, which is l, t cube, t cube, everything cancels, you get 1. So it makes excellent sense. And yeah, that is the answer to this problem.